Welcome back. Last night, the ANC's National Executive Committee announced the seven people it will nominate to be the premiers in seven provinces. But it is still to announce who it will nominate to be the premier in North West. Said last night, there will be internal engagement on that issue. Last year, you may remember, there were violent protests in North West. In the end, the then chair of the ANC in that province, Supra Mahomapelo, resigned as premier. But he then went on to win two court cases that said his ANC Provincial Executive Committee should be reinstated. Dr. Theo Fenter is at the Northwest Business School, joins us now. Uh, uh, Theo, good morning, good evening to you. Uh, this is quite odd. The NEC agrees on who should be the premiers in seven provinces, but not the Northwest. What do you make of it? Yeah, it's actually a fascinating development because um, I know that the ANC, or the, the interim structures of the ANC in Northwest, as well as the other structures, produced the three names which all the other provinces had to produce. That's the normal thing. The three names were sent to the NEC, and the NEC couldn't decide where to go with the Northwest. So I think this is an NEC problem and not a Northwest problem this time around. And if we look at the, at the time span, on the 22nd, when, when the legislatures and parliament meet next week, they must elect the Premier. So, so the ANC will have to move on, on this decision, or the NEC at least, because it is a legal requirement for the legislature when they meet. The well, first order of business is to elect a Premier. And in the Northwest, obviously, we now have this standoff. Uh, well, I mean, if they weren't able to agree last night, and it was actually a fairly quick meeting if you think about it. I mean, they started meeting at about 2 o'clock, a little bit after that, and then they finished uh, before 9. So quite a big decision, the, a pre decision around premiers. But do you think their internal engagements will actually come to a resolution before then, before that two-week deadline? Well, they'll have to, and this is, I think, part of a kind of a push, pushback. If you think about um, the pre nasrec situation, the Premier League provinces, Free State, Northwest, Mpumalanga, and this time around, the Free State got what they wanted. Um, Mpumalanga is happy to have at least the gender thing going for them, although Refilwe is not uh, chairman of the party in that province. So the Northwest, in my view, is the last remaining kind of standoff in this whole issue, and I think that's what it's all about. I think it's a testing of wills at the NEC, a testing of what we would usually call the different factions or the different interest groups in the NEC. Normally when you have a contest between two equal parties, the person who is in office stays, and in this case that would be Professor Job Mokoro. He is currently the Premier, legally speaking. Um, he's not staying, it seems. Do you think that well, means that... Yeah, legally he can't stay. Legally, when the uh, legislature need to convene uh, um, for, for the new term, um, the old premier or the existing premier or the standing premier resigns as part of that legal situation. So his term basically ends unless it is decided as a compromise uh, to keep him on until further notice. But that will then have to be the decision. Well, where I was going with this is that if he's not going to be re-elected to that position, does it mean then that perhaps the people around President Soro Ramaphosa might have lost power in the NEC, that they were able to sort of force that appointment last time around, they can't seem to force it this time around? Well, that's how it looks at the moment. And um, so that's some serious pushback. And so, like I said, three names were produced by the North West, the different structures. Um, and the fact that the NEC couldn't decide on that, that's an NEC problem. It's not an North West problem this time. Right. Then the ANC also saying last night, or the NEC of the ANC, that it, it gave us the names of seven provinces. Five of them are men. Only two are women in, position, in these positions. It does have a standing resolution about gender. It's supposed to be 50-50. It also seems to have a standing resolution, as I understand it, that the leader of the province in the ANC should also be the premier. Uh, it seems these resolutions are coming in conflict with each other because there actually aren't any female leaders of provinces in the ANC at the moment. Yes, that's true. And I think the decision of, um, of Nasrek is um, sometimes differently interpreted. It is, it is, it is, it is the, the better way, or let's say it's the tradition, or it's the best thing to do, to not have two centers of power in the province, but to have the chairman of the party. And now it seems to me they, they're venturing off that, and then have a kind of a com compromise position saying if 
je dan as a female, as, um, as premier, then your, in, then your, your members of the executive must compromise a majority of women. It's kind of a, of, of a problem. But that gender issue is not only a problem at provinces, it's also a bigger problem at local government, but the focus is not that often on local government because there, in Parliament we're looking fine. We're comparing to Sweden and all these places where there's a lot of gender equity. But as we go lower down in the structure of the ANC, this thing also is not applied with such um, uh, will as, as uh, what, what happens at national level. Uh, Theo, there's still big decisions to come about the list of candidates who represent the ANC in Parliament. And then Cabinet, the NEC won't discuss Cabinet necessarily, but when you consider that, these, that, that those are likely to be hotly contested and we have the situation in the North West, are you expecting a bit more difficulty in the upper echelons of the ANC for the foreseeable future? Absolutely. And, and remember, the, the North West province is still fully under administration, two types of administration, and that is not yet being resolved. So the, 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 the governance issues at Northwest, and, and, and today there was also an announcement that the J.B. Marks municipality previously, uh, the Tlokwe municipality, has also been placed under administration. That means all the local governments in the Northwest is now under administration. And then um, a fascinating kind of development where a province that's under administration has just placed a, provinc- uh, a local government under administration. It's, it's almost paradoxical. Theo Fenter, thank you very much indeed from the Northwest Business School. They were the latest on that story for us.